I am gonna show you how to flatten your stomach and strengthen your core in three particular techniques. Here's something you're gonna do on your knees. I do recommend you use a soft pillow or some type of mat. This is gonna do wonderful things for you because you're not gonna to have to get on the floor. But this is gonna do wonderful things for your stomach, for your lower pelvic floor. It's gonna help conditions like constipation, urinary issues, female issues. It's gonna help your posture. It's gonna help you sit up tall as well as stand up tall. It's gonna prevent back injuries. Your core, the primary muscle, is a transverse abdominus muscle, the deep, deep muscle in your abdominal area. That's gonna keep you strong. And guess what? That's gonna hold your stomach in. When you put on your pants, your outfit, you're going to look better. But most important, you're protecting your lower back. You're helping your pelvic floor. You're supporting everything that your body needs to keep you healthy. So now for the first minute or so, I just want you to feel what it's like to isolate your core. By taking your navel, your umbilicus, your belly button, and sucking it in right now to the back of the spine. Pull it in. As you pull it in, the transverse abdominus muscle contracts. I want you to hold it there about 10 seconds. Many of you are saying, ow, that hurts. It's okay. Just hold it in as long as you can and release it. Let's do it again. Bring it in as you work the transverse abdominus muscle. You're contracting it, you're squeezing it. Yes, you're strengthening it. And after 10 seconds or so, release it. It should hurt and it's gonna hurt. Bring it again. And as you hold it in this time, you can put your hands together or put your fists together and just turn to the left as you hold it in. You'll feel it burn as you isolate different muscles and then turn to the right. You can release it. Pull it in again and go to the left. Yes, it burns. You feel different parts of the abdominal area working and go to the right. You're going to do that at home for about a minute or two minutes on your own time. But what makes this video different than just working your core is we're going to be working kinetic movement, meaning as we isolate and strengthen your core, we're going to be moving so we can work those different muscles. We're going to work the antagonistic muscles, which are the opposite muscles. We're going to work the muscles around the core. We're going to activate many muscles, so the transverse abdominus area is going to be very strong. So here's what we're going to do first. Let's put the back of your hands against your side right now. And all I want you to do, very slowly, I want you to slowly lift your arms up, slowly. Come on, not too fast. You keep lifting it up. You'll get to a point where your back will start to ache a little bit, and you're core will start to kick in. Stop at that point. Some of you may be down here. Some of you may be here. Some of you may be here. Now, once you get to that point, I just want you to hold it. Hold it 10 seconds. Your back may be aching a little bit. Remember that transverse abdominus muscle is very deep, but you're working it right now. Come back down after 10 seconds. I want you to come up slowly again. When you get to that point again, it may be a little higher after this. When you get to that area, you say, wow, I feel it in my gut, deep in my abdominal area. Hold it, 10 seconds. And you're gonna do this a few times over the course of a minute or two, but what you can also do is when you get to that point and it starts to ache, this time I want you to shift your body a little more forward, just a little bit, an inch. Just point out a little bit farther out and you'll feel it more. Hold it 10 seconds. And you're gonna perform many of those repetitions over the course of a minute or two. And lastly, this particular technique is really gonna do wonders to bring everything together. Get on all fours just like this to where you're comfortable. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your right arm first. You're gonna bring it out to your side. And if this is difficult for many of you, just do your best. If you can't do the technique, that's okay. So once it's out to the side, right now you're isolating your core. But here's what I want you to do. Slowly bring it across as you isolate the core right now as you go out in front of you, nice and slowly. You'll feel different muscles start to contract, and then after that, you're gonna come back just like this. 
And you're going to do about five or six repetitions as that's one full one. Okay. And you'll just keep going back like this and you'll start to feel your core isolate nice and slowly. What you can also do is you can take the hand and reach out a little further out. Okay. And that will really isolate it more. Go to the left side, straight out, slowly come across. You'll feel the muscles isolate on the left side. You may feel the back as well. You'll come back out and you'll do several sets of these over the course of a minute or two. Excellent for the transverse abdominis. And as you do this again, if you're more advanced, you can take the hand and push it out a little further out. As you go further out, you're going to feel the core isolate and you can come back out that way as well. But for the beginner, don't worry about pushing out so much. Just get to the point to where it is comfortable. So let's summarize what we just did. The first thing we want to do is you want to take the umbilicus, the belly button and bring it in for 10 seconds and release it. And after you do that, you can hold it in. You can put your fists together, your hands together, however you like, and then twist side to side as you hold it in. Secondly, what you're going to do is you're going to face your hands backwards. The back of your hand should be facing forwards like this. And we're just going to slowly, slowly go up to the point where you start to feel the abdominal area kick in. When it kicks in, you'll hold it there about 10 seconds and you'll come back down. And then again, more advanced, you can go a little more forward. And lastly, getting on all fours, bringing the hand all the way out and coming across to the point to where you feel it. And for, for the more advanced, you can reach more forward. But do these exercises every day, if not every day, every other day, because if you're overworking the muscle, yes, give it 48 hours to rest. You will definitely see miraculous changes. What I love about this, it's safe, it's effective, and the results are very fast. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family. Leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.